Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to That's Not My Neighbor. I swear, I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but that's not my neighbor. You're not paying attention. This game had a major update. It added two new modes to the game, and I think a couple more achievements. I did not read everything that the game added, but it did add a campaign mode, which is what we're going to be playing today. I'm more interested in the campaign mode. Because it did also add an endless mode, same as nightmare mode, but there's a score for the days you survived. Score is saved each time you complete a day and resets after you die. Campaign mode saves at the end of the day, and if a neighbor is eliminated, they will not appear in the following days. Which means that we'll also have to be paying attention to that. If we lose a neighbor and they show up the next day, that's a doppelganger. If the doppelganger enters, it will eliminate the neighbors of the corresponding apartment. The campaign lasts seven days. So we need to survive seven days of campaign mode. And there's nothing else to really say. Let's hop right into this shit. Day one, latest news. The doppelgangers keep coming, but the DDD is here to stop them once and for all. New job offer, doorman at an apartment complex located in the downtown. Requirements, none. Salary, minimum. For more information, contact the DDD. <laughs> new campaign yes 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 sorry it has been a minute since i played this game so i actually hardly remember okay welcome to your new job your job is to verify the entry of the residents of the of your building don't forget to check the expiration date on the ids month year got it remember that it is february 1955 can't forget it's right here here's today's list i wish you the best of luck Oh, okay. All right. They start us off easy on day one. It's our first day of the job. You know, we've been through training, but this is like us by ourselves. Roman Stalinsky. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Four, eight, three, nine. So I, this number is important to remember because if you check F0101, okay, hold on. Okay. I remember now. I remember that I took some pictures of the stuff so that I could then compare and contrast. 483-483-924-924-059-059-684. Okay. All right. Expires 1968. So you still got some time. Roman still... Ooh, hold on. Roman Stilnski. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a job as a public accountant. He is an accountant. Let me go ahead and look at his profile again. He does have the scar. Big nose. Scar on right chin. Long face. One eyebrow. Wears a hat. He's not wearing a hat though. See, this is also what confused me too, because it'll say he wears a hat, but then he's not wearing one here. He's not wearing one in his ID photo, and he's also not wearing one in the apartment picture. I never quite understood that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can also call the apartment number 1152. Hello, Louise Stilnski speaking. My husband is not at home. His hat? Yes, he left it here. Oh, shit! Okay! So, in previous updates, I, I don't know, maybe I just never encountered something like this before, but in previous updates, they never actually verified why a character was missing features that the description clearly said that they had. So because he's not, I, I, again, not sure why he's not wearing any of this stuff in any of his files, but apparently he is good. All right, you got your ID, your appearance checks out, your entry, you are on today's list. So is everything, yep, go ahead, buddy. Ooh, campaign mode is about to be a breeze. Campaign mode is easy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Seven days as a doorman. Arnold Schmidt, 40201. Big eyebrows. Yeah, you got those. Prominent mustache. I do remember the prominent mustache. He wears a hat, so he is wearing a hat. Round face. That's the roundest face I've ever seen. You might just want to give you a <clears throat> smooch. You don't have your ID. Where's your ID? I'm sorry. Yes, I forgot to show my ID. All right. Better be like that. We've got 778-566-219-322. So that number checks out 1971. Expiration date checks out. Last thing we gotta check, we gotta call the apartment number. Uh, 
Hello, Gloria Schmidt speaking. My husband is not at home. Okay. Okay. Well, everything needs to check out. Everything needs to check out. A1 be easy. Mia Stone, that's my girl. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if y'all know the. Uh, oh, wait. Was it Mia? It wasn't Mia. Hold on. It was somebody. It was one of the twins. <laughs> Was it Celine? It was one of them. <laughs> one of them I had some sort of canon relationship. That's stupid. It, it's some stupid bullshit that I came up in, in my own head. <laughs> okay. Mia is on the list. F0301. One, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at that. My camera roll is now just full of a bunch of these pictures. Long hair. That looks like some pretty long, luscious hair. Small round nose. That is a small round nose. As freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Oh, please, I must call the apartment number. Talk to me, William Afton. Hello, Dr. William Afton speaking. My fiance is not at home. Is she back? You bet your ass she's back. Get on in there, girly. That's it for day three. I mean, day one. Where the fuck did I get day three? She's the third person. Emergency! 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 Emergencia! I didn't need to check you to know that you aren't right. <laughs> so if this is your first time watching me play, uh, or your first time seeing anybody play that's not my neighbor, the object of the game... Lead day one? Do we find out if... Okay, I guess, I don't know. Uh, the objective of the game is to, you are a doorman letting in your neighbors, but there has been an outbreak of doppelgangers. These are people who look exactly like or vastly different from the neighbors that you have in your apartment. And you have to be able to pick out little pieces of information about these characters from like the way that they look or from their ID numbers or from the files. And you need to either say you're good or get the fuck up out of here. Simple and easy. But the game does get progressively harder because sometimes you miss the little details. A lot of you guys made it very clear that I was missing details in my previous videos. The latest news, local farmer Chester Titter. I like your last name. Faces aliens with his old tractor. Chester Titter claims to have shot, claims to have shot an, at extraterrestrial beings that were invading his land. They had large dark eyes, said Chester. Cool. Simple enough. Ah, uh, look at that. And now the, the, the day that we previously, good afternoon. We begin the second work day. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Bring it on. Although it may seem like an easy job, don't let your guard down. Aye, aye, Captain. You don't have to worry about me. I'm handing you today's list. Good luck. Don't they know I was a veteran in my past life? All right. You aren't on my list. Again. For those who have never seen a game of That's Not My Neighbor, if a person is not on the list, the first thing that you would want to do is call. You call the apartment and then either Albertski himself or Robertski will answer the phone and be like, I am at home or my brother is not at home. Hello, Robertski Peachman speaking. My brother and I are in the apartment right now. We are not expecting any visitors. Good to know, good to know. Hey, uh, yeah, you know what? Let me check your ID real quick. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna... Ha, I got you! <laughs> Thought he could pull a fast one on me. You're not my neighbor. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Nacha McHales. Was that... That wasn't her name before, was it? Nacha McHales. Hmm. Okay. If you say so, what apartment do you reside in? 4020 F0204. Gotta stop doing that. You got 789-653-665-413-1973. Nacha McHales. Your description says right eye is blue, so that's her right. So if I if I flip the if I flip the image, that would be right eye blue, left eye green, curly hair. Okay, nobody's home, which means that both Nacha and Anastasia and it. 
Anastasia. Is it Anastasia or Anastasia? <laughs> I'm just gonna call her Anastasia because it's funnier. So Nacha and Anastasia are both out, which means that I could probably trust you. Cause it'd be the littlest details too. It'd be like the the letters in her name are like the E and the A are switched. You gotta really be attentive playing this game. But I seem to be able to trust you. You're good. You're straight. Maybe. I don't know. You have a daughter. So you could be adopted. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Let's see here. Elf Cappuccino, you say. Your job is a lawyer. Wow. Give me one second to call your, your firm office. Um, yeah. Just give me one second. Don't worry about the blaring lights. I'm just making a phone call to somebody very important. I, I myself have a lawyer, so I, I think you guys would like to meet each other. You have contact with the- Yeah, get this guy out of here! Thanks. <laughs> this game is so fun. The Milkman. For some reason, everybody's creaming their pants over the Milkman, and I'm not quite sure. Like, I mean, he's a good-looking guy, but I mean, he's not me. <laughs> Let me stop! Firstly, I gotta ask about your entry request, sir. Ah, uh, you seem to have forgotten it, huh? Okay, all right, if you say so. Francis Moses, let's see, let's see your appearance. Long nose, a pretty lengthy nose, thin chin, very chiseled, he's got tired eyes, all that milk. I, I know what it does to you, man. Short hair, okay, wears a hat, he is indeed wearing a hat. Let me just call your apartment real quick. Didn't answer, cool, all right. Checks out. See, this job is easy. You know, once you're when you're me, the job is easy. 60. Ooh, you're gonna have to renew this pretty soon, buddy. You got five more years, but I would say you probably have like two more left on you. Big nose, prominent mustache, wears a hat, uses a monocle, round face. Alright, your appearance is checking out for me. But you know, I just I just gotta call the peoples 4258. And then his lady friend should answer the phone if she's there. Raftlin speaking. My husband is not at home. Is he back? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ah. Yeah, buddy, uh, make sure you renew this, all right? I don't wanna have to see you again in five years and be like, oh, sorry, I can't let you in because you're expired. Hold on now. Hold it, you. Oh, shit. I was also supposed to be looking for the DDD logo too. That's also an important one to look out for. Ah, shit. Oh, this is where the game gets kind of confusing. I'm stressing out already. It's only my second day on the job. Uh, hey, Francis. I just want to say that I, I really value our time. Um, and because of that, I think that you should meet my friends. They work at a little place called the DDD. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! It's only day two. It's only day two. You're not on my list. I'm gonna call the office just in case. Steven Rudboy. Coolly Rudboys. My son is not at home. Ah! All right! All right! All right! All right! All right! All right! You insist, I'll check you in, I'll check you out, and then I'll check you in, maybe. The EDD logo looks okay, the ID matches, Steven, Steven, Rudd, boys, Rudd, boys. Big nose, that's a honker. Wears glasses, the, the shiniest, short hair, the shortest, small head. I wouldn't really consider that small unless they're not talking about this one. Uh, you're not on today's list. I am not on today's list? I think there is an error. I should be on the list. Look at the list again. Yeah, you're definitely not on the list, but your father said that you weren't home. So, I'm gonna go ahead and trust your word. Only because you are a pilot and you probably serve our country. So, thank you for your service. I shouldn't be this stressed out on day two. Finally! I've been waiting on you! Hmm, hi or whatever. I've been waiting on you. Everything about your ID checks out. The DDD logo looks good. I live here, whatever, I come from school. Okay, she is a student. Hired eyes, that's the eyes of a student right there. Two pigtails, those are indeed two pigtails. 
Small nose. Round face. Prescription matches, and I know for a fact that you aren't home because I let your mom in, but then before that, I called the apartment and neither of you were there. So. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. I've already let one of you in. Nice try, Diddy. It's the end of day two, yeah? Come on. There we go. Alright, will I... How do I know if I've... Lost a... I mean, I know that if they don't show up, then that means that I lost my... My neighbor. But like, the doppelgangers don't kill you at the end of the day? Latest news, unreleased photograph of a flying saucer, courtesy of Chester Titter. Chester Titter claims to have seen and photographed a flying object that comes from another planet. According to Chester, since yesterday, this object has been flying around the perimeter of his land. <laughs> Chester! That's just a... That's just a cloud. A very dark rain cloud. Come on, buddy. You can't keep scaring people like this. Middle of the week is approaching. Yeah! Yeah! How, how has everything been? I hope well. Well, time to work. Here's today's list. See you tomorrow. Wow. William Afton, Francis Moses, Angus Cipriani, Illinois Schwitz, Dr. William Afton, you are indeed on my list. Where are you again? FO301. Everything checks out with him. I just gotta do the thing and I gotta call the apartment and see if anybody answers. Mia speaking. My fiance is not at home. Is he back? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, William. Okay. So that checks off William on our list. Now we're waiting for Illinois, Angus, and Francis. Hoon, where's your ID and entry, buddy? Hoon. <laughs> Hoon. Okay. Okay. What a character that guy is. He's, you know, he's one of the cool neighbors, but I just, I felt like it'd be necessary to let the DD know that he was here. Cause they're like, they're his favorite. They're like his fans or whatever. I just felt it necessary to call them up and let them know, hey, your, your favorite person's here. Next! You're not on my list. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call your apartment. You guys aren't gonna get me fired today, Gloria. Husband and I are in the apartment. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, buddy. You can you can kindly respectfully piss off. I don't want you around here anymore. Don't make me have to say it again. Well, he won't because he's dead now. All right. Illinois. He is indeed on our list. Yeah. Yeah. Celine. Celine is my girl. Even though I mistook her for somebody else. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> so funny. So this one, she has a mole on her left cheek. So that would be this one. Because if you switch, if you flip, right, her left cheek is right here. This is her left cheek. She has a small pointed nose. Very button-like. She is indeed slim. She has a long neck. That's the longest neck I've ever seen. And she has a twin. I just gotta call up my girl real quick. And, you know, let her... Wonder, inquire if her sister is at home. What's good, baby girl? Your sister's not at home? Say less, I'll be up there in a minute. <laughs> okay. All right, you're good. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you had a great day. Okay, so that checks out these two. Now we're just waiting on Francis and Angus. The actual Francis and Angus. Out on my list today. Yeah, you know, I'm something of a doorman. I was a professional doorman in my past life. And all these past lives, they just keep on translating to me. Something of an icon, you didn't even know. What's good, Angie? Description says long neck. Uh, I guess you can consider that long. Wears a hat, has a mustache. 
small eyes. Now for the test. Everything else seems to check out. He doesn't answer. He's home. Or he's not home. Cool. Alright. Alright. Don't make me regret this. Oh, 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 oh. To you too. Love you, buddy. So that should be that's everybody on our list if anybody else comes through they're not allowed in unless all right okay latest news local farmer reports that beings from another planet are stealing his cows chester titter reports a series of abductions of his calves and cows the farmer claims to have witnessed his favorite cow lulu being abducted no oh god no not lulu oh she was great Oh, she provided so much milk. The milk that Francis would then bring to the apartment. He got the milk from Chester and he would personally deliver it to me. And now she's gone. Oh, God. I'll never taste the sweetness of that Lulu milk. Boy, if you don't. Who's on our list today? Marguerite, Alf, Gloria, Arnold, and Albertski. Good afternoon. I've double checked all your records. You're my guy. That checks off Alf. That just leaves four more people. I'm really curious to know how I did. You're not on my list. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna call your apartment. Tattletail on your ass. Hmm. He's not. He is wearing the hat this time. Because if she had said that he had forgotten his hat at home, this wouldn't have been our guy. But you know, I'm paying attention to these kind of things. I don't even know why I bother filling out the, the checklist if he's not on today's list. Uh, I'll just let him. He's, he's proven himself worthy. You're also not on my list. Can you guys just like cool it for a second? Steven, is your father home? You don't say. All right, cool. Thanks for the information. Oh, what? No, I was just, um, I was just ordering a pizza for the entire apartment. As a matter of fact, I think they're here. Uh, I need to shut down for a second. Help. 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 All right. I don't trust you. Who the hell are you? Wait. You're not my, you're not Luis. Uh, number one, I don't think you have the right face shape. Yeah, you don't have the right face shape. Round face. But she also answered the phone earlier, so that's how I know that's not her. Get out of here! Stop trying to play me. I'm that one dude, Chris. My name rings out in the homes of like five people. <laughs> we still have a lot of people to check in. All right, Arnold. I'm gonna call his apartment, and if nobody answers, then that means that he's good. Because Gloria also isn't home. Cool. All right. I have ran through all your documents. You check out. Don't let me see your face again. Not on my list, Rafflin. I talked to Rafflin earlier, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I let Alf in, didn't I? I'm gonna call just in case. I'm, I'm gonna be cautious, obviously. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I was just being cautious. No need. What's that? What are the blaring sounds for? Uh, don't worry about it. Who am I calling? Nobody. Nobody that concerns you, at least. Goofy, huh? All right, her description says she has a round face, mole on the right cheek, Short hair, brown nose. He is a banker. Comes for a job as a banker. Let me make sure I check that description on both the ID and the entry request. Um, 
Neither her nor her husband were home, so if I were to call, he would say that his wife isn't home. So she checks out. He is on today's list. You're good to go. Now we're just waiting on Albertski and Marguerite, I believe. Speak of the devil! <laughs> Buddy, I was just thinking about you. I was just talking about you. Firstly, I'm gonna call the apartment F0102. Okay, that was Robertski and you are Albert. Cool. Just verifying. Don't ask questions. His description says he has a mustache, prominent chin, big nose, big eyebrows, long face. This description matches all across the board. Name matches. He does have a job as a shoemaker. He is not home, according to his brother. So, wait, let me make sure that he is on the list. Albertski, okay. Now we're just waiting on <coughs> Marguerite. I said <laughs> Marguerite. Wow, look at you, right on cue. Entry request. What did I tell you about forgetting your shit? You're good. Let that be the end of the day. Oh, oh no, get the fuck out of here. No, no, no. I'm supposed to be going home. Day five, local farmer Chester Titter has been reported. No, oh God, no, not Chester. First Lulu and then Chester. However, will I get my milk? Uh, then I'll have to buy the, the store-bought milk. I'll have to get milk publicly. Ah! My milk was coming from a reputable source. Any information about Chester or his whereabouts can be reported to emergency numbers. Any information, no matter how small, will be great to help. As his family is very worried. Oh, his best friend is worried too. God, I'm worried sick. All right, anyway, it's time to go to work. Tomorrow is the weekend. Woo, but I still work, right? <laughs> oh, we still have to work. <laughs> oh, man. Those monsters don't rest and neither does the DDD. Imagine working seven days a week. Here's today's list. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who do work seven days a week. Hey, Mia. I trust you, but I just have to check your place of residence just to be sure. She is on today's list, so I wouldn't be surprised if Afton doesn't say that, or if Afton says, oh, oh, because they're both out. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, in that case, all right, let me see you again. Nacha, how you doing? How's your daughter? That's great. I don't care. So per usual, everything seems to check out, but you know I just have to call the apartment. Because her daughter's gonna be like, mm, my mom's not home or whatever. Anastasia. Mother is not home. Or whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay! I trust you. I know a friendly face when I see one. I'm starting to get a little bit more reckless. Like I, I know exactly what I'm looking for at this point, but I still like to be sure. So let me check my notes for your information. Cause now I think I have a picture of everyone's information. Some people I have to take new pictures of because I didn't get their apartment number as well. And basically, in case you were wondering what my strategy is, right? So I'll take a picture of their file and then I will look at their ID first because this has all the most important information. So I will spell out their name, A-R-N-O-L-D, that's Arnold, S-H, or S-C-H-M-I-C-H-T, that's how you spell that. And then I go ahead and read the first three, the, each three numbers. And I compare that with the files that checks out and then the DDD logo will sometimes either have four stripes or two stripes or it'll be like missing a letter you just got to pay attention to this logo because I actually remember that I had a problem with that in one of my previous that's not my neighbor videos so now I'm very attentive of the DDD logo as well the expiration date is fine and then I'll look at this I'll do the same thing I'll spell out his name 
that looks good he's a resident he's a writer and then i'll go through his features again the big eyebrows prominent mustache he wears a hat brown face short hair and then of course i will call the apartment as the last thing to do and after that the job is pretty much easy gloria wasn't she on the list though no she wasn't i'm tripping balls okay all right you're good Yes. Yes. So we got Mia, Arnold, and Nacho. We had you. You're here already. Because I remember I said I didn't want to see her again. I'm so good at my job. I haven't really been seeing a whole lot of unique uh, doppelgangers, though, which is, I, it, it kind of sucks because, like, the fun part of the game is when you can, like, run into a bunch of interesting looking doppelgangers. And I feel like whenever I'm doing actually, when I'm actually doing good at the game, no doppelgangers, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, the doppelgangers with the holes in their faces and, like, the, the weird tentacles popping out of their bodies, I let you through already. There's my guy. I'm just looking for your file. Uh, wait, 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 buddy. Where's your entry? All right. Okay. Thank you. I'll be nice to you since you're kind of old. Ooh, that expiration date is coming up. His description says that he has a mustache. That, in fact, he does have. He's a big nose. Has a goatee. He smokes. Hence the cigar. And he always wears a hat. They actually, they actually emphasize that in bold letters, capital bold letters. That he always wears a hat. And he is, in fact, wearing a hat. I went ahead and checked all of his information. Now I just gotta call his apartment, and his son should let me know that he is not there. But he's on the list, so. He should say that he's not there. Okay. Alright. That should end my day. No, you don't get to speak. You don't get to say shit to me. After I have cleared out everybody that was on the list, anybody else immediately gets the fist. I don't know, I tried to make it rhyme. Do I get paid for overtime? You guys gonna pay me for overtime? That, that's a that's actually a fantastic question. Wait. Hold on, wait. Okay, hold on. He is not on the list, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's not here. I'm so sorry about that. That was just natural reaction. You know, you really gotta be careful these days. You never know who could be lurking around the corner. It could be a doppelganger for all I know. You're Albertsky? Cool, cool. Let me just, uh, uh, yeah, let me just check all your information. Again, so sorry about that. You seem like a very peachy guy. See what I did there. Now for the final test. Are you home? Cool. Anyways, back to what I was saying. No, no. Beloved neighbors of the city lost their lives yesterday because of the doppelgangers. No! Mia, wrong! I what? No! Oh, Mia, no! God damn it! Now he's gonna come after me because I let his wife die. Ah! Uh, shit! Okay, well, at least now I know that up until this point, I haven't let anybody else die. Because the newsletters didn't say all that. Hello, nice to meet you. I am the weekend shift officer. Hello, you already know the protocol. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I do. I was good at my job up until yesterday. I'm handing you today's list. I wish you good luck. Damn it. Shit. Okay. All right. You gotta be extra... Isaac Goss. I swear that wasn't his name before. Mm. Oh, you're Eleanor. Okay. For some reason, I thought that was Mia. And I was like, where's your entry request, Mia? I mean, <laughs> God, I miss her so much. I'm being extra careful this time. Because never again in your life will you ever 
kill one of my uh, one of my neighbors. That wasn't okay. What you did? That was a big no-no. And I, for one, am not a fan. Celine, what's good, girl? This is my home. Not today. Not today. I got a job to do. It's the weekend. It's that extra pay. They they increase pay on the weekends. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I'm trusting you. It would be kind of cool if the character was like on the list, but then you're checking all the information, everything looks good, and then you call the apartment, and then they say that they're here. So it's like, now you know, yeah, they're on the list, but you still shouldn't let them in because they're already in the apartment. Like, this is like first encounter kind of thing, like, because Angus just showed up, and if I were to call his apartment and he says that he's here, then I know, oh, you know, that, that would have been a pretty cool mechanic, I think. I, I think, I feel. I don't know, you don't have to agree with me. Don't all agree with me at the same time. Damn, look at that gorgeous face. Damn. FO202 you say you live in? Say less. Let me just uh, snap a picture of your files. I know this is confidential information, but with a man like you, a face like yours, these uh, don't come around all that often. They say take a picture of the last longer. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. 1965. You got about 10 more years left on that uh, on that ID, sir. I'm gonna let you know in case you ever needed somebody to renew it. He's got big everything: <laughs> big eyebrows, big smile, prominent chin, big nose, big dick. Stop it. That's one, two, three. Did I let an Angus in? I did. Yes. So it's, it's Francis and Anastasia we're looking for. I know that she's not home because we called Nacha earlier. All right. She was in the clear. I was waiting on Francis, our milkman. There he is right on time. What's good, Papito? I need to stop. Somebody. Oh, Mia used to live here. Oh, and that's why. I think, wait, FO301 was, oh yeah. So there's there's nobody here because me is dead and I would assume that William just moved out. Damn. That's actually kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> I feel horrible now. Everything checks out. So that completes everyone on our list. If they are not on the list and I've seen them already, they get booted out. If they're not on the list and I haven't seen them, Okay. Well, I got what I was asking for about the unique doppels. Oh, that's a new one. Oh. Uh, okay. Have a fantastic day, Marit. That's what I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her Lelweet. Cause it's Marguerite, but it looks like her face is going Ugh. Cleaning protocol complete. All right. We're on to day seven. We've only lost one neighbor. Unless you wanna throw another one at me? Okay. Day seven. Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chester Titter claims to have been abducted by aliens. That's the Chester we know. So campaign mode leads into, it's like a prequel for the regular, the arcade mode that we play. The former local farmer claims that the aliens sent him to the future where he learns about, learns a lot about the 21st century society. His, that was supposed to be an H. His family members comment that everything seems to indicate trauma caused by his disappearance days earlier. All right, we didn't lose any neighbors. Me is the only one we lost. That's okay. We could have lost many more. Good afternoon. Last day of the week. Let's go, baby. Here's today's list. Good luck. Oh, that's a lot of people. Hey, but my girl Celine, listen. Listen. Shawty Bay came through. Ah, where's your ID? Thank you, my love. 
you know, sometimes this work requires me to uh, get a little strict. But I know you like that sometimes. <laughs> what am I doing? So her appearance says mole on right cheek. Small pointed nose, slim, long neck. She has a twin. So it's pretty. Celine and Illinois are pretty much the same appearance, except one has a mole on the right, that being Celine. The other one has a mole on the left, that being Illinois. So I just have to absolutely make sure you guys also yelled at me about that before. Pay attention to the mole. I think it should also be noted that she's got square earrings. And then I think, yeah, Illinois has uh, triangle earrings. That's an important detail to know. All right, you're good. Call me. Call me later. Hmm. Not on my list, Albertski. But you know, I play fair, so uh, I'm just gonna just gonna give your apartment a little callie call. <laughs> See if you're trying to play mind games with me. Sorry, this job is kind of doing something to me. Don't mind me. Just going a little crazy. My brother is not at home. All right, now I get to interrogate you. Everything seems to check out. I don't know why I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. Okay. All right, your story checks out, I believe. You had an emergency at your shoemaker job? Seems kind of sus. There he is. There's my man, Isaac. Where's your answer request? Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to yell! I, uh, I hate to ask, but, uh, what happened to you? My eyes? I donated them to charity. Oh, how sweet of you. Well, I'm going to donate you to the DDD. They would love to get to have a word with you. They would love to see you, but you won't see them. Because you donated your eyes to charity or whatever that means. Um, pretty sure that I let you in already, Albertski, or was that the day before? God damn it, I cannot remember anymore. <laughs> uh, all the days are blending together. I need to also make a list of how many people I've seen and how many people I've let in. Damn it. Yeah, but I mean, I guess that's why you call, you know? Just to verify. You can call it verify. That wasn't our guy. He had a scar on his chin. Albert uh, Albertski doesn't have any scars. He's got a flawless face. He's a perfect man. Not as perfect as Isaac. Stop it. Think about Celine. How would she feel? This job is doing something to me. <laughs> Finally, some action. This is what I'm talking about. Marguerite, how you doing, Bubbles? Yep, yep, yep. Everything seems to check out. At this point, I know all these people like the back of my hand. I hardly even need to check sometimes. Let me just, let me, I just gotta double check. If you screw me over because of some tiny detail that was for one, never labeled, and two, something so minor that I could have potentially missed it if I just wasn't paying attention. Wait, I didn't complete the checklist. Uh, she was good. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. She was fine. Why do you keep coming? Everybody wants to be Albertski for some reason. They want to be Albertski so bad. You're not him. And that should be all of our people for the day. I don't want to see anybody else showing up. If you do, you're immediately getting booted. All right, campaign summary, Doppel's captured. You're not gonna give me all this information? Payout check, the DDD thanks you for your services as the doorman over the past week for which you are paid of a total of- No! <laughs> no, why are you, why are you gatekeeping all my information? Achievements. Page two. Achieve the ending in campaign mode. Just like Henry. Survive nightmare mode, get haunted by the mask ghost. Nice. So that was campaign mode. I 
I let one person die. One person. I'm pretty sure there's like some secret that you can get if you don't get anybody killed. But I mean, for our first time playing campaign mode, that was pretty damn good. I think I'll do like endless mode or another thing in nightmare mode. I don't know. Endless mode for sure would be like a live stream kind of thing, but campaign mode was pretty damn fun. I also wonder if you go in again. Uh, I was just wondering if you go in again, would all the news articles still be the same if you, you know, play through it again? But I kind of want to know what that six day article was if I hadn't gotten uh, Mia killed. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out in another update or another episode. That's not my neighbor. If you want to see more of this, you guys have some ideas of how I could spice it up because I've done, like I said, I've done arcade mode. I've done nightmare mode. I've done campaign mode. The only thing I haven't done is an endless mode. And like I said, I feel like that is more of a, uh, a live stream sort of thing. So if you can figure out ways for us to spice this up, then I will definitely come back with another episode of That's Not My Neighbor. But until the next update, that is all the time I have for That's Not My Neighbor. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that linked somewhere around here. And if you want to see the last video of That's Not My Neighbor, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Clap. You have to leave a like for me completing campaign mode. I only killed one person. You have to leave a like for that. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. It's free. You get to hang out with me more often. You get to be part of the family. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Ooh. Time to see what that new. That's not my neighbor update is all about. I, where are my headphones? Why has this been recorded?